Hi, I'm Simon from The Red Ferret and before we start this video I want to ask you to subscribe down below to stay updated on our latest, greatest, most awesome content on the space of YouTube. Let's get cracking with the video. So in front of me I have a robotic ball that's app enabled. This is the Sphero Bolt. I also reviewed the Sphero Mini which was a lot of fun. That was with um, my phone and it's a mini ball that you have to control with your phone which is very cool. So this is a learn to program with your app enabled robot. Unlock play and coding patterns with Bolt's flashy tech. So it has advanced sensors, LED matrix, infrared communication, two hours playtime, automatic aiming, inductive charge and durable shell. So you can code with this thing, um, you can drive and play with it. There are a lot of different things to do with the uh, Sphero Bolt. Packaging, really like it, very nice. So what is in this box? We get a starting guide, some kind of starting guide at least. Getting started, it's on the back. So you have to charge it by putting it on the dock over here. So it's a wireless charging or something like that at least. Download the uh, Sphero Edu app, connect and discover activities on the app itself. So you have the legal guide over here, which I'm not going to read. And then you have stickers, very nice, stickers, stickers. And I really have no idea what this is. Heading direction and the clock. So this is the dock itself. And then this is the Sphero and the cable for the dock. There is no button on the Sphero uh, to power it on or something, so you have to put it on the dock in order to uh, turn it on. You have Sphero Edu and you have Sphero Play as well. It powers on from itself, so it's in, it's in some kind of standby mode as you can see. So the lights are on as you can see right now. He's updating it, um, so it, that means uh, there is no thing to turn it on. So there's some kind of technology in here which makes sure the robot is in a standby mode all the time. That's very, very weird for me at least. I, I really don't know how that works, but it's cool. It's really cool. So you can see the complete internals of this robot. Ah, that's amazing. And this one as well. The dock, you can see all the internals on the dock. There's one button on the dock over here. Um, so you have that LED screen or that um, matrix screen, I don't know what's it called, and it shows weird stuff on there like a flash, a bolt flash. Uh, I've already seen it when I was charging this uh, earlier. And a smiley face, for example, as well. So that's pretty cool. Now the screen is lighting up and it's doing stuff. You see this? Whoa! That's very fast. It's already gone. Come back. So um, it works like the other uh, Sphero Mini. So you have the different styles of driving. So you have the joystick uh, drive, which you can use. You can use scream drive, tilt, slingshot, kick or golf kick. I don't really know what kick is. Ah. So uh, you kick the ball and then it will go that way. For example, did you see that? You can of course also play games with it, like for example, round trip, which, and then you use your ball to control. Oh no, that's actually pretty cool. Right, so there are different ways to drive, but let's now boot up the Sphero Edu app. So you need to create uh, your own programs in order to um, make it drive. For example, add a block. Uh, let's add this block. Run the program. Delay for one second. Roll 180 at 80 speeds for one second. Wow. You have a lot of different things you can code with this thing. So I've now uh, wrote wrote like I'm a real code writer or something, a program for this thing. Um, let's see if it works. I'm going to put it on the ground because on this table uh, it doesn't have enough room. So it's now doing what I did it, what I said it had to do. Okay. It's going, it's doing weird stuff. Right, so my coding was not that good, so I have to, um, Redo my coding. Main LED blue, then roll, 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 fade from this color to this color, and then play a random sound and speak Simon. I don't know if it will actually do that, but we'll see. Right, so I'm gonna start again. So, okay, and now it has to go back. 
Something like that, yeah. Oh, now it's fading color. Sort of. As you could see, um, I'm not a really good coder. I, I've never wrote code before in my life. Um, you have to write a lot of code in order to make it do a lot of stuff. I had like three or four lines and it was over in like four seconds or something. So yeah, it's, it's difficult. But you can also just use this with your phone to uh, navigate uh, via the different um, things you can use, for example, a joystick or a slingshot or a soccer ball. So that's actually pretty cool for kids. For uh, younger kids, it will be difficult for decoding because it's not that easy to understand. For older kids, it might be a cool toy, I think. I'm going to be honest, this is not cheap. $170 is a bit expensive, but it might be a cool present for a birthday if you really have a kid or a brother or someone else who really likes coding, who really likes this kind of stuff. It actually looks very nice as well. It's built durably and you can do a lot of things with it. I've only shown like 10% of the things you can do with this. You can do a lot of things with this, but then the video would be very long, so yeah. If you think this is a bit too expensive, you also have the Sphero Mini, which is only $60. That's a tiny blue, red, uh, orange ball. It's really great, it's really awesome. I've uh, reviewed it in the past and I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a bit better than this one because this is a bit bigger and a bit more professional. It, it's it's actually, it's still a toy, but it it, it almost feels like something who you have to, um, you have to make sure you, you don't play with it a lot, but you, you learn from it, if you understand what I mean. Like, for example, the Sphero Mini was actually a, a toy, but this is something you learn from and the big difference is, of course, uh, the small screen, uh, the LED uh, screen on the top, uh, which makes sure you can have different colors or different patterns on them. But overall, very cool device, works very well, works as advertised. It's not cheap, but it's something unique. I would say if you have any questions regarding this Firo Bolt, let them know in the comment section down below, and I'll be very, very glad to answer them. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below. If you didn't, leave a dislike, and tell us why, so we can improve our videos, and I hope I'll see you, yes, you who's watching this behind your phone or behind your computer screen, I don't know, in our next video. Bye-bye.